Do you have a word survey that you want to convert into an online survey? In this video, I'll show you how you can convert a word survey into an online survey using Microsoft Forms in just under 60 seconds. I will also show you how you can get it 100% spot on on your first upload. Now let's hop over the computer and let's get started. Firstly, let's open up Microsoft Forms. And in the top menu bar here, you will see there are three options. So the first option is new form. The second option is new quiz. And the third option here is the quick import button. To convert your Word file into an online survey, you need to select the quick import button here. But before we go and upload the file, let's spend some time talking about preparing the data file and setting you up for success. Here I have a customer feedback survey in a Word document that I want to convert into an online survey. The survey has a total of 20 questions, which is broken into four parts. So you have customer details, quality of service, customer service, and communication. There are questions relating to collecting customer information, which requires the respondent to enter their details. The survey also includes questions where the respondent is asked to select an answer from a list of options that you can see here. Now, it is important to understand the structure of your survey, as this will help you correctly format your file ready for the upload. This way you will not get any errors and will eliminate the need to rework your survey online. For the survey name, make sure that you use the title format. This will help Microsoft Forms recognize and apply the text as the survey title. Add a short description to let people know what the survey is about and approximately how long it will take them to complete the survey. Now this is important for three reasons. The first reason is that if you don't add a short description, you will get this prompt after you upload your file to add the description anyway. Now, while you can add this manually afterwards, it's better for you to add this in the original import file and upload it together with your survey questions. Two, writing a short description at the start of the survey is important because it provides context and explains the purpose of the survey. This helps respondents understand why their input is important and also what to expect, leading to more accurate and thoughtful responses. It also sets the tone of the survey, clarifies the time commitment and increases the likelihood of the survey being completed by the respondent. Three, by default, Microsoft Forms will automatically assume that the text following the title is related to the description and will automatically add the text as the description. If you are using headings to structure your survey, make sure you use the headings format here. This will tell Microsoft Forms to convert the headings to what they call sections. So here I have four sections. So the first section is customer details. The second one is quality of service. The third one here is customer service. And the final section I have in my survey is communication. Make sure that you number your questions in Word in chronological order, as this will help Microsoft Forms recognize the structure and label the questions to match the numbers referenced in your Word file. If you have a question that's an open-ended question and you want the respondents to be able to type their answers, make sure that you leave a space under the question. For questions that requires the respondents to choose from a predefined list, make sure you format the options as a lettered list. Now, you may worry about these letters appearing in your final survey, but don't worry. Microsoft Forms will automatically convert the list into radio buttons, allowing the users to select the answers without seeing the lettered labels. Now, this is an important step. Otherwise, you might end up like me, spending hours trying to figure it out. Now that we have the file ready, let's go back to Microsoft Forms and use the quick import to import our file. So here we need to select quick import and then upload our file. So just to call out in terms of file size, there are size restrictions. So here you can see the file size must not exceed 10 megabytes. Now, while we are uploading a Word document in this video, you can also see here that you can upload a PDF file where you can convert a PDF survey into an online survey. But I find it much easier to convert it in a Word document. To upload your file, click upload from this device. Select your file. Click open. So in this example, we're creating a survey or a form. So click on form. Now watch this. In less than 60 seconds, it will convert the word survey into an online form. Now click on start review. 
And here you can see that Microsoft Forms has converted your Word survey into an online survey here. Now, if there's any errors, you will see the error message noted here in the review panel. Now let's double check the format. So here you can see that the title and description is correctly formatted and displayed. So here we have the sections, the questions, as well as the answers correctly displayed as what we had in the Word file. Now, if you have a survey with a text box or multiple choice question, this method is fantastic and will save you heaps of time. If you have a complex survey structure with branching, also known as skipping questions, you will still need to do this manually. So if you click on the question, click on the ellipses, and then add your branching from here. But by importing the file, it will help remove some of the sting of creating it all manually. While there is an option to use Copilot to tweak the wording or the question, here you'll see a short description asking you to describe what changes you want to make on this question. You are unable to change the style of the question. For example, if you have a multiple choice question and you want to change it to a text box, you are unable to change it using the prompts. However, I am hopeful that this will change in the future update. Now that we've successfully uploaded our survey, let's have a look at the layout. If we click on the icon here, here you can change the layout by selecting one of the options. Okay, I'm just going to pick this option, but I'm just going to remove the date here. Next, I want to change the background image. So let's select this image. Now, when you're ready to share the survey, click on collect responses. And here you can copy the link and send it out in an email. Or you can use the inbuilt email template and send out your survey using the template here. You also have a few other sharing capabilities as well. So if we click on the button here, you can see here that you can download a QR code. You can embed the survey on the website or or publish on social media, depending upon your use case. Now that you've shared the survey, all the respondent will need to do is to complete the survey online and hit the submit button once they've completed the form. Now, once the survey is completed by the respondent, it will automatically update Microsoft Forms in real time. So if you click on the survey, you can see over here on the top right hand side, you've got one response. So if you click on responses, you will now see a dashboard of the survey response. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the individual response. And over time, as you receive more data, you'll also be able to see some trends here. To export the file in Excel, click on the button here. And here you'll be able to view the raw data and you can perform your analysis from here. Now make sure you try it out today and let me know in the comments below what you think. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the next video on how you can outsource your meeting minutes using Copilot. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.